Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. Cardi B did this odd photo shoot where she was posed in front of this graffitied wall. And at first it seemed pretty innocent. I didn't think nothing of it, but some people looked deeper into it and they saw in white letters a word spelled out PDF foul. Y'all know what I'm saying. And I was like, wait a minute, did she really pose in front of a wall that said that? And I looked closely and it does look that way. Now in this picture, it said P-E-D-O-P-H, but it was blocking the rest of the word. And then she posted another picture and you could see the spelling a bit more clearly. So after the H, it looks like it says I and you see L and E. And I'm like, why in the world would she post in front of a wall that says that? Like, what message are you trying to send? Like, what is that about? And some people thought she was throwing shade. Some people thought she did this for a publicity stunt, but I felt like it was just really, really, really weird. She did address it when people called her out about it. She said, first of all, we literally picked a random street because paparazzi was hounding us everywhere. This was supposed to be my original first picture and we had to edit the photos in minutes because the shoot got leaked. Didn't even have time to go over every detail because people were busy trying to expose my pregnancy as an aha moment. Second, I'm always with the ish, but I'm not using my maternity shoot to be funny. Are you dumb? And somebody else said, I hate that you let a person get away with doing weird stuff because they claim they are unaware. Like you're a whole celebrity with a team. This is BS excuse, not gonna lie. And she said, a team, B, my makeup artist touched up the picture because we didn't have time for all that. It says the date and time. Nobody was paying attention to the graffiti. Second, if I wanted to be petty, I would have posted a lot of memes last week. I keep telling y'all to leave me the F alone. If I'm saying I'm not on that time, don't make me get on that time. Unrisk yourself. <sighs> My question still stands. Why would she post in front of a graffiti sign that says PDFL? Why would she do that? Like, I understand that she was scrambling to find a shot to take. And so she randomly picked this spot. But while her team was retouching the photos, couldn't they have taken the time to edit this word out? Like, come on, this is a maternity photo shoot. Why is she taking a picture in front of a wall that says PDF foul? This is just weird. It really is. And I know how the entertainment industry wants these celebrities to push these agendas. So they will have them doing certain things, things that they probably don't agree with. They will have them doing just to push an agenda. And I kind of feel like this photo shoot was definitely intentional. But Cardi probably was unaware of it at the time for real. But I think once people brought it to her attention, she should have at least taken the pictures down and had somebody re-edit the photo. You know what I mean? But the fact that she kept it up and was making excuses about it made her look a bit suspect. So I don't know. I don't know. This industry is scary because these artists are promoting all types of stuff. Now, I wanna move on and talk about this. The Daily Mail reported a story that is making a lot of people feel like Taylor Swift and the NFL player Travis Kelsey's relationship is fake. Travis is represented by this PR firm called Full Scope, and somebody leaked the details of this contract and said that Travis and Taylor were planning to end their sham of a relationship. Now, this is all alleged, and this document <laughs> said that they were going to announce their breakup on September 28th, and they were gonna give the media three days to cover the story, and then they were gonna release a joint statement talking about the breakup, and it was gonna be some cliche statement like, oh, we value and respect each other, but we just grew apart. We're focusing on our careers. That was the whole strategy, allegedly. Now, a spokesperson for Full Scope came out and said that this document was fake and they're getting their lawyers involved to get to the bottom of this. They're gonna find the culprit who fabricated this document. Now, do y'all think that this is fake? Do y'all really believe this? I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's possible that the contract could have been real, but once it got leaked, obviously the PR firm had to come out and do damage control because it doesn't look good for their client. It doesn't look good for Taylor or Travis because people have bought into this idea that their relationship is just the best thing since sliced bread. But I honestly always thought their relationship was for PR. Now they seem to have some chemistry, at least on camera, but. 
I just wasn't buying into it because I feel like, okay, this is the typical PR relationship. Both Travis and Taylor are using this for their benefit. Obviously, Travis is benefiting a lot more from this. I mean, he has new eyes on him. His celebrity profile has been raised. People are buying his merch. I mean, his sales have increased drastically. And this is going to really help him in his post NFL career. So I think he benefited a lot from his relationship with Taylor and also Taylor benefited as well. The publicity has helped keep her name in the news and Taylor does have a pattern of using her relationships for publicity. She's dated quite a few men in the industry. <laughs> I wouldn't say a few, but a lot. And she writes about her boyfriends and her music to generate interest and to also make people more into her personal life. You know, this is how celebrities operate. They try to drum up publicity for themselves because ultimately it helps their brand. And PR relationships have helped Taylor's brand, including her relationship with Travis Kelsey. Now, if this relationship is fake, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I just wouldn't because truthfully, I don't think they're really each other's type. I don't think Travis is really Taylor's type because based off of all the guys she has dated, he doesn't really fit the mold. You know what I mean? He's a jock. He has a little bit of swag to him. He hangs out with black people. <laughs> and also, I don't think Taylor is his type at all either because if you notice, the women that Travis has been linked to publicly do not look like Taylor. I mean, he dated a woman named Maya Benberry who he chose off of his dating show, Catching Kelsey. <laughs> he also dated Kayla Nicole for five years on and off. He was even linked to Zuri Hall. And it was said that he was eyeing Coco Jones too. In fact, someone on Twitter pointed out that he was liking a bunch of Coco's pictures and it got so obvious to the point that Taylor had to scope out her competition. <laughs> But really, Taylor wasn't his type. And also, I don't think he's Taylor's type. But I do think their relationship is mutually beneficial. It's beneficial for them financially. It raises their profile. It's just good for their overall status, I think. So if it is true that they were planning to end their relationship soon, honestly, I think they should reconsider and stick it out a little longer and get all they can out of it. <laughs> Now, I want to briefly talk about Tanache. Now, Tanache has this song on her album, Quantum Baby, and it's called No Broke Boys. No Broke Boys, No New Friends. I like that song. But she was promoting it, and she talked about her dating standards on one of her TikTok videos. She said in order for a man to get with her, he should not be broke, have no kids, has good hygiene, goes to therapy, knows how to dress, nice to their mom, likes cats, likes to travel, good taste in music, over six feet, has no exes, isn't homophobic, has a private jet, could build a house with his bare hands, can cook, <laughs> has no IG, and obsessed with me. So those are her dating standards. And some men were not here for it, okay? This one person said, this B is over 30 with these dating standards, but good luck though. Beyonce couldn't even get this. Who the F she thinks she is? <laughs> Tanache has an uncanny knack for finding more annoying ways to make people unlike her than any other artist I know. She's shooting a little high. Is this the same girl that says she's a nasty girl? She gonna be single forever. Yep, she'll be alone forever, ladies. Remember, you start to age like her. She insists on making people like her less than what they already did. That list made her ugly. I don't care. Bird brain. She ain't never gonna fall in love, LOL. Ain't nobody dating her weird self, red flag, a bit delusional, but I've heard worse from non-famous women. She gonna die along with those cats. Those were just some of the comments I saw and they were pretty harsh. Now, I don't know why people got in their feelings about it because clearly Tanache was being playful and she says she wants a man who could build a house with his bare hands and who doesn't have any exes, which is unrealistic. So obviously she wasn't completely serious, but I do think she was serious about most of the things on her list and she's entitled to have her standards. I mean, nothing is wrong with that. I think the people who are complaining about it obviously don't fit her standards, which is why they were bothered by it. But I don't think anything is wrong with her standards. I will say this though, 
she has to use a bit of discretion in this day and age because anytime a woman opens up about her standards, she always gets beaten down for it. So it's important for her to move in silence. She doesn't always have to put her list out there. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.